Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Gabriel Swagger, and we just want to welcome you to one of these short daily devotionals. Today's teaching, today's devotional, I believe is going to resonate with a lot of people, simply because every one of us at times are going to face uncertainty, we're going to face difficulties, we're going to face extremely, extremely hard times. But I want to read something from the Word of God that I believe is going to minister. It ministered to me, and I believe if it ministered to me, it's going to minister to you. And it's found in the book of Psalms. I encourage everyone, if you have time, throughout your throughout next year, as you if you're able to do so, I encourage everyone to read the Bible all the way through from Genesis 1 1 to Revelation 22 21. But also, take advantage of Psalms and Proverbs. Read a Psalm every day. Many of them are very short, something that you can read literally in just a few minutes. Others, like Psalm 119, is going to be quite lengthy. But I challenge you to read the Psalms every single day, along with Proverbs. You'll find a lot of great truths and a lot of encouraging words written by David, by Moses, by Asaph and others. But this one particular psalm is just one verse that I want to read. I believe is going to be a help to you. The psalmist said this in Psalm 29, 11. It says this, The Lord will give strength unto His people. The Lord will bless His people with peace. There are two words that I want to look at for the next few moments. Strength and peace. What is he referring to? Strength, of course, you know, means power. Yet, we wonder, how was was God able to provide and to give us strength? First of all, in in this life, in the storms that we face, the storms that we will experience, many of those storms, or let me just change it, all of those storms, all of those difficulties are either caused by God or allowed by God to happen. Meaning that whatever you are experiencing right now that is difficult, God either allowed it or He orchestrated it to happen. But the one thing that we need to understand about all of this is that God is the King. He sits as King above the storm. He sits as king above the storm. And he is able to provide power, to provide strength, strength to all of us who are in need. He is our strength in time of weakness. However, there might be times in this Christian life that God will allow us to grow weaker so that we can in turn depend upon Him for His strength. Paul said this in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. In asking the Lord to take away a certain thing, he said, I've asked the Lord three different times to take away this issue, whatever it was. But yet, the response of the Holy Spirit said, My grace is sufficient for you, and that I am your strength in time of weakness that you that I am your strength and that your strength is made perfect in your weakness what is he saying here about that this means that every one of us at times grow weak we are weak we're not as strong as we think we are but the lord at in, at times allows us to grow weaker for the sole purpose to to drive us to dependence upon Him. Whenever we are depending upon other things in life, whatever they may be, a job, money, family members, uh, our education, whatever it may be, those things will carry you so far. But God at times strips everything away 
So we have no other alternative except to call on him, except to lean on him, except to, to, to turn to him for everything regarding our life and living. So he, at times, he may be allowing you to go through this situation to show you that you have nothing left to hold on to except for him. He will be our strength. Let him be your strength in time of weakness. Secondly, he says the Lord will bless his people with peace. That word peace there's two types of peace, justifying peace and sanctifying peace. The peace referring to in this particular passage is sanctifying peace. What does he mean by that? Justifying peace is having the peace with God. It's speaking of reun reuniting with God. Sanctifying peace is having the peace of God that through through the storms that we will go through in life, there is a peace that surpasseth all understanding that no one else could re realize and understand. How can you be smiling in the midst of your storm? We are because we understand that His peace, He gives us and grants us His peace to teach us, to help us, to in that we can endure, that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that whatever problem I'm going through, He will lead me out. He is going to see me through. He gives us peace in the time of storm. He'll be our harbor in the time of storm. I want to encourage you here today. I don't know who you are, but I do believe that many of you, you're struggling to keep your head above water. You feel like the walls are closing in on you and you don't know really what to do. I want these words to bring life to you, that he will provide strength in the time of your weakness and that he will bless you with peace. God doesn't do anything to you that's going to hurt you. But He allows you to go through things in life to bring you to a place of total and complete dependence upon Him. The question that I have for you is, are you trusting Him? Are you trusting Him? I pray that you are. For this little devotional, this is Gabriel Swaggart saying, we'll see you next time in the Lord.